<clears throat> What's going on, people? It's your boy Wanzo coming back to you with another video. Guys, I wanted to uh, touch base on this because um, I ended up seeing um, some posts on Reddit and I saw some other shit on Reddit um, regarding Bitmain. Um, Bitmain has registered um, a in, in a it looks like they they it looks like they registered some sort of business okay and as ant creek llc okay in toonwater washington okay now we don't really know what exactly it is that they're planning on doing there okay i mean if you read this article at news.bitcoin.com um it kind of goes into speculation of you know of what they're doing there that uh they, they leased 40 acres of land between two industrial parks and it looks like they're going to be building some sort of a Bitcoin mine, mining farm, okay, and um, or some sort of data center, okay, you know, I think is where the hell did I see that? Anyway, um, <clears throat> I really don't give a shit about that because to, to be honest with you, I mean, it's not like they're going to grab their you know their manufacturing facility and bring it over here you know to build ant miners here in the united states because it ain't going to be cost effective for them you know compared to uh you know doing it back in china so um i really don't care that bitmain is coming over here to uh open up a shitty a shitty farm you know if they were uh if they were i would like to see a distribution center that I would like to see, okay? I would like to see a distribution center that that has these units, you know, in stock so I don't have to pay, you know, 500 fucking dollars in shipping and shit like that. That's what I want to see. I want to see some, you know, something that's going to help me save a buck. You know, I could care less about them coming over here and building a data center or a mining farm or whatever the fuck they want to call it, Okay. Um, out in the uh, northwest, there's you know the price of electricity is actually pretty cheap, you know. And how cheap? Well, you know Idaho's the cheapest in the in you know in the U.S. at eight cents you know per kilowatt hour. Okay, that's double what I pay. I pay sixteen. Okay, and then you have North Dakota at eight point one, Washington State at eight point two, which is you know, where they're planning on going. Then you have, you know, decent jump to Arkansas, Utah, Louisiana, Wyoming. And, you know, and uh, if you go down here on uh, nationalpublicradio.com, okay, it's, I ended up, uh, I ended up typing US, USA electricity rates and uh, they were right here, okay. So you go down here and you check it out and, um, you know, the most expensive state is Hawaii at 33 cents. And I'm actually pretty shocked, okay, that New Hampshire is this expensive. Um, you know, there I used to live in Massachusetts, okay, which is right here. And the reason I moved from Massachusetts to New Hampshire is because I'm also really big into guns, okay. And, um, you know, wherever I move, okay, I have to consider, you know, you know, what are the gun laws in that state, you know, because it has to be a state where, you know, they're not going to infringe on my rights to own guns like Massachusetts. They were really dropping the hammer and they ended up banning um, semi-automatic rifles and stuff like that. It's, you know, besides, and I don't want to get political on here, but wherever I move, I have to consider, you know, gun laws. And it seems like I'm going to have to consider what the electricity rates are because, you know, I've, I'm getting into mining, so it's going to matter, okay? And I was planning on moving to Arizona, considering that they're number one, you know, in, in Second Amendment rights, okay? And uh, the electricity ain't too bad at 11.1 .1 compared to what I'm paying now, but there is better, you know? And, um, you know, I'm... 
it's nice to see Wyoming here because they're like number two and um, number two when it comes to gun rights and Utah right here, you know, 8.8 .8 cents per kilowatt hour. And they're like number, they're in the top five when it comes to gun rights. So, um, so yeah, you know, that's, that's, that's pretty good to see. You know, I might have to check that out a little more, do a little more research there on what properties cost and stuff. But, um, but yeah, you know, Bitmain looks like they're going to be opening some sort of a farm in Washington, you know, because of the, uh, electricity prices and, you know, seeming how, China's going to drop the hammer on mining. They're going to raise costs of electricity. No more subsidizing. So they're looking for places to go, you know. And um, I also wanted to touch base on something else that I saw here that I guess uh, uh, Bitcoin is, um, is suing Pangolin, which is the manufacturer of what's miner. Okay, of the what's miner, Bitcoin miner, for prop for for they're suing them for patent infringement. Okay, and I find this really curious because Bitmain's Bitmain either they've already lost or they're on the verge of losing their their basically what was what was making them so powerful. They had this patent on this technology that they were using on their miners or that they are using on their miners that I, I guess it has something to do with um, with um, efficiency, okay? Now, I don't know the whole scoop about it. You know, I'm not really in depth with exactly what it is. But, um, you know, if you Google that, you know, Bitmain patent, um, it'll come up. <laughs> okay. So they're in the, you know, they're, they're, they're suing them for patent infringement, you know, which is fucking bullshit because I'm all for the more, the better for us. Okay. Because when Bitmain was the only one producing ASIC miners, they could basically charge you whatever they wanted. And they did. Okay. They've made, last year they made $4, mil, $4 billion in profit last year alone. Okay. And they're basically, you know, flailing because you got Halong, you have Obelisk, you have um, Inosilicon, you have um, Ebang, you have Baikal, you have. A bunch of people popping up out of nowhere, okay, trying to make a splash on the ASIC miner scene, okay, and you have Bitmain over here flailing, trying to stay afloat as number one, okay, and as far as I'm concerned, I just care about who's going to give me the best bang for my buck, okay, so, you know, Bitmain's trying to play dirty, you know, suing pangolin which is the manufacturer for what's minor okay and um i tweeted to halong <laughs> i guess i'm i'm a little famous not really but um they they retweeted my you know my tweet here uh, at halong mining time to kick bitmain in the face i want competition between miners that's the only way that we as consumers will benefit you know and it's true um you know this. The, you know we got to do something about Bitmain. Their their hold is too strong, and um, you know right now they're you know they're 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 flailing. You know to just barely, tr you know trying to escape drowning, and um, instead of suing people, what they need to do is they need to just you know focus on giving the consumer the best that they can. Okay. That's all they need to be worrying about, not fucking suing other manufacturers. So uh, I just wanted to touch base on that, you know, and, um, you know, I found it pretty curious that they're building something in Washington. I'm wondering what it is. It's most likely a, a mining farm, you know, for themselves, you know, and they're probably going to have, you know, 
you know, 15 to 20 full-time jobs, and they're probably going to be bringing, bringing in their own people. So it's not like, you know, we're going to benefit anything in jobs or anything like that. You know what I mean? But, um, but that's pretty much it, guys. Um, you know, so um, that's pretty, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I got to say about that. You guys have a good one. Peace.